guys, so today I have a video for you and this is going to be a tag video and this is the princess tag and this tag was just recently created by Glam Life Guru and if you guys don't watch her, I'll make sure to link her channel down below, but she's really awesome. Her name is uh, Tati and she basically created this tag so that people could talk about their favorite high-end products for different categories and stuff. Um, so basically there aren't really questions, but there's like categories and you talk about your favorite high-end product in each category So I'm going to be doing this tag today The only thing I want to say before I get started is actually no, there's two things First off is that I have a few categories that I don't have anything in and so usually I will make up Make up for that in other categories. That I have more than one thing in so just saying a side note Just so you guys know ahead of time and then also I'm so sorry I have not been uploading frequently It's been like a week since I uploaded last and I'm really so so sorry. It's just that school has been so so stressful and there's been so many tests and I know this is just like not a good excuse but I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm not like leaving you I'm just very busy I think you guys know you understand so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the very 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 first category in this tag which is foundation and first I would just like to say that this foundation I used to be obsessed with and then I realized it was the wrong color for me and then I I didn't like it for a while, like a long time, and I never used it also because I thought it was the wrong color, but recently I just whipped it back out, and I love it. It's perfect for every day. This is the Benefit Hello Flawless Foundation, and this is the Oxygen Wow Brightening Makeup. It, ha it is oil-free, and it has SPF 25. You guys can hopefully see how much I've used, but I'm so in love with this foundation. I used, I was going to start using this in a video, um, I don't remember, I think it was a talk-through tutorial. I was about to start using this, and I told you guys, oh, the coverage is later than I thought. And honestly, I don't think it was. I think I was in a weird lighting or my cheeks were especially red that day or whatever. But I love, love, love this stuff for every day. It's so, so great. And I'm in the very lightest shade. The only thing I don't like about this is that I'm, um, I'm pure for sure. Ivory, that's the lightest shade. And this used to not fit me. Like, I used to be paler than this. So I feel like the shade range could be better on this. But I really, really do love this product. <laughs> Text message. Next category is concealer. And mine that I'm going to talk about is this one from Benefit. It's the Boing Concealer. I'm again in the lightest shade in this, and I've hit major pan on here. I really, really like this. The only thing is, I really only tried it so I could test it out because this thing is $20. I probably will not end up repurchasing this, but it's very nice to have, and it has really awesome coverage. The only thing that I've not been able to cover with this is I've never been able to cover this with, with any concealer. This is this, I don't know if you guys can see, I have a zit right here that popped like last night or something and it will not cover this will not cover it without looking really cakey so that's the only thing about this but like other like blemishes are totally fine it's just you know how whenever you have that awkward like scab kind of pimple kind of thing that no concealer will really cover it without it looking gross so you just don't even want to put makeup over it that's how it is with this thing right here and so this will not cover that that this is the only thing or this is the only thing I found that this couldn't cover. Okay, my next product that is on the list is a powder, but I don't have a powder that's high-end, and I'm really satisfied with my drugstore powder, so we're just going to skip that one. But I do have something that's sort of like a powder, if that makes sense. Oh, my mom closed my door. Thanks, Mom. Anyways, this is the Urban Decay D-Slick Oil Control Makeup Setting Spray, and I've been using this under and over a lot of my makeup recently just to make it last really, really long. This is just the travel size, or not travel size, this is the deluxe sample, and I just recently got the travel size in a high-end makeup haul, which I will link down below, um, but this is just the, like, mini, and then... Or this is like the at like sample, but then the travel size is like $14 and it's about that big. I mean, I think it's a good value and this has lasted me literally so long and it's so refreshing on my face. And oh my gosh, another text message. We're going to do a little spritz because I'm feeling a little warm. It's really hot today and I'm not sure why, but I just do it like an X motion like you guys just saw and I kind of just distribute it distributes it very nicely over my face. My next product is a bronzer and I do not have any high-end bronzers. Bronzers? I don't think anybody has any high-end bronzers because those don't exist. I don't have any high-end bronzers. I just remembered that I have this and I completely forgot that I have it. This is the Naked Urban Decay Flushed Palette. I completely forgot I had this. I have my makeup set up differently so I like forget sometimes where stuff is and I completely forgot about this. So basically this is a trio. It has, well not really a trio, but it has a nice bronzer, a highlighter, and blush. Now I like... The blush is okay, in my opinion. It's not my favorite color ever, but the bronzer with the highlighter are great. But my favorite thing in here is the bronzer. It almost looks in the pan, to me at least, like it would be a little bit orangey on my skin. But I love the way that this looks. It's really great for contouring and also just like a natural all-over face bronze. Loving this. But the bronzer in here is like the bomb. 
I not da bomb. It sounds weird when I say it. Other people they're like da bomb.com and I'm like, hmm. Yeah. No. Category after bronzer is blush, and I'm not sure if this is totally high end because I don't know how much it was. My mom gave it to me, but this is from Nordstrom's, and it's the brand prescript. Yeah, prescriptives, and it's this just. Oh my gosh, it's the brand prescriptives. Sorry, I cannot talk. It's a little cream stick blush, and it's just this really pretty, almost bronzy kind of color, but it's like a peach, and this is in the shade. Uh, Balinese Peach 02. So I'm just going to do a little swatch of this. I look so nice and so natural on the cheeks. And I just have been loving this a lot recently. And it also does have some shimmer if you're wondering. But it's so blendable. I love, love, love this blush. But I'm obsessed with this. And it looks so natural and so glowy. Next thing on the list is a highlighter. And my highlighter that I'm going to talk about is the Benefit High Beam. And I know this is so talked up. And I've been wanting to t try a few other high-end highlighters. But they're so expensive. Um, I just have this little travel size mini from my Primping with the Stars kit from Benefit that I got a while ago. And this is so, so gorgeous. I especially love the these kinds of like highlighting glowy kind of products during the fall. I don't know why. I really like glowy skin for the fall. But this is what it looks like. Can you see that? And it's just really light and it's a pinky toned highlight and it's just so light and beautiful and natural looking. I just love the way that this looks on the skin and I would definitely recommend this for any skin tone because if, even if you have a darker skin tone, this will look natural on you and even if you have a really light skin tone like me, it still shows up and gives you a highlight and it's not like darker than your skin tone. So moving on to the eyes kind of category, the first thing is eyeshadow. Guys, I've talked about this literally so much so if you are new to my channel, then you're forgiven for not knowing this, but if not, like, you, you should know this by now. <sighs> this is, like, my life. I cannot... Oh, my gosh. Okay. Urban Decay Naked Basics Palette. I... Oh. Oh, my gosh. This palette is the most amazing palette. I own the Naked 2 palette, and I like this so much more. This is, like, $27, $26. I fit pan on two of the colors, and I'm very close to both of the two WOS or Walk of Shame. It has six really gorgeous neutral colors. These five are matte, and then this one is a shimmer. Oh my gosh. I'm going to swatch them really fast in my hand so you can see the gorgeousness of them. Okay, so I've swatched these all up in my hand, on my hand. Could I have done that more awkwardly? No, okay. So you have these one. Okay, I don't know how to do this. Okay, I hope you guys can see all these okay, but starting over here, this one is called Venus, and it's just a really gorgeous shimmery color, and I really like this for my brow bone and my inner corner highlighting because I really do like shimmery highlights, but this isn't too, too sh shimmery. Then this one is called Foxy, and this is like a yellow-toned neutral kind of color. Can you guys see that? That's not showing up very well on my skin, but you, I hope you guys get the gist of it. And then this one is like a pinky-toned skin color, and this is called WOS, or Walk of Shame. This one is the one that I fill in my eyebrows with, and this is called Naked 2, I believe. Yeah, Naked 2. And they actually don't sell any of these in single eyeshadows, I don't believe, because I went to try and buy Naked 2, which, and then I ended up buying one called Naked, which is a more orangey-toned one, but um, none of these are sold in single pans. And then this one is called Faint, and this one is called Crate. My favorite colors from here are Venus and Naked, which I've obviously hit pan on. I like doing this all over the lid, as well as on my brow bone and my inner corner. I also really like both of these all over the lid, just to even out the complexion, like take away the veininess. The dark black, or the dark black, is there a black that isn't dark? I don't, I don't know. This one, I really like pushing into my lashes to give a more defined look to whatever makeup look I'm wearing. And then these, this one is awesome for the crease. I don't tend to use this one very much just because I don't, I tend to go for really, really light, really, really light and natural looks. And then this one, like I said, I fill my eyebrows with, but this is also really, really awesome for blending out other eyeshadow looks. Like, if you're going to go out and buy one thing from this video, go buy this and... Literally, this is better than my Naked 2 palette, in my opinion. I am just so obsessed with this. Honestly, as soon as I, like, don't have some of these colors, I will go out and repurchase this palette. Like, I actually will. Oh my gosh, I got eyeshadow on the front. The next category is eyeliner, and this one is from Stila. I'm obsessed with this. I got this in a duo with their liquid eyeliner, which is the Say All Day, which I also really like, but I'm just going to talk about this one. And then the Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner. And I even like this one better than my Urban Decay 24 Hour Glide On Pencil, which is like saying something because that is like a complete YouTube favorite. But this one is the Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Lionfish. And I want to get the black one of this too, but basically this is a roll-up or like a turn-up retractable eyeliner. 
and it is so great. It's just this really pretty shimmery brown color, and it's like a medium, I would say it's like a dark brown. This is so awesome for lining your upper and lower lash line for just a really natural, nice look for school. I'm just so obsessed with this. It's so creamy and so like blendable, and it's really easy to smoke this out if you're going for like a smoky look. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I just totally like blended that out. And then once it sets though, it is not going anywhere. So now we are on to mascara. And I have one high-end mascara that I've I'm uploading a mascara routine. It's coming, I promise. Pinky swear. But anyways, I have this high-end mascara, which I use after like all of the rest of my mascaras because it like ties them all together perfectly and it just finishes everything off fantastically. Is that a word? Fantastically? I think that's a word. Um, this is the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. Oh my gosh. My mom actually purchased this and then she didn't like it so she gave it to me. I know germs, but she's my mom. I don't really care. But this has a huge wand. Like, it's actually really big. And I love, love, love it. It gets into all of my lashes and it's not like super like flimsy. Like, it actually gets into my lashes. It doesn't get make my lashes look clumpy. I am just so obsessed with this mascara. I don't know how much it is, but I'm pretty sure this is one of the perks of like the Ulta Beauty Week. 21 days of something, September Beauty Week. And so I may have to get my hands on this, but we'll see. So the next category is lip products. Don't mind me as I'm like wiping the swatches off of my hand. So I can just watch these. So you're, I'm supposed to show you a lip liner, a lipstick, and a lip gloss. I actually do not have a high-end lip liner, and I'm not a huge fan of lip liner. So I'm just going to show you my two favorite high-end glosses as well as a lipstick. So kind of making up my own rules here, but what you going to do? The lipstick that I love that I have that is high-end is this one by Tarte. This is one of the Glamazons, and... I have mine in the shade Bold, and it's just a really pretty peachy color, and on the lips it almost looks like a muted kind of strawberry red kind of color. This is what the color looks like, and as you guys can see, it's like shaped to my lip. That's like the sign of a truly like awesome lipstick, once it actually gets like the shape of your lips in, like how you apply it. But this is so gorgeous. I love, love, love it, and I'm just going to swatch it for you real quick. And like I said, this is in the shade Bold. It lasts so long. The only thing I will say is that it does tend to dry my lips a little bit, so I would definitely recommend either wearing a gloss over this or wearing a chapstick under. Whatever floats your boat, I suppose. For the two glosses, the very first one I've had for a while, this is just a little sample, but I love it. This is the Too Faced Glamour Gloss in the shade, um, oh, yeah. If you're under the age of 13, close your ears. It's just a really, really pretty mauve toned gloss. It has like a tingly feeling on your lips, which I love. And this isn't absolutely the most pigmented gloss, but I feel like it's amazing for your natural days or if you're just topping off like a nude lipstick. I just love the way that this looks all over. Oh my gosh. I just love the way that this looks. Oh my, oh my goodness gracious. I just love the way that this looks over almost every lipstick that I've tried it with, and it just looks so glossy and refined, and it really makes my lips tingle, which I know some people don't like, but I personally really like. My other gloss is from Bare Minerals. I also got that in this in my recent high-end haul. It is the just regular gloss, I guess. Once you rip off the packaging, all of the info about what kind of gloss it is is off, but I have this in the shade Fruit Cocktail, and it's just a really pretty natural-looking, like, um peachy kind of color. It's very pigmented and the applicator is a brush if I didn't say that. I love the packaging. It's really sleek and just feels nice to have and this is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. And if I don't remember to say all the prices in this video, which I know I failed at doing, I will make sure to say them in the description box as well as everything that I'm wearing, everything on my face and whatever I did with my hair, which I didn't do anything with my hair so I guess that won't be down there. Um, then for my favorite brow product, that's the next category. I don't have anything for that, but I mean, yeah, I don't have anything for that. The next category is miscellaneous, so candle, bath goody, tool, etc. I'm trying to think. I don't really think I have anything miscellaneous to talk to you guys about. So I'm just going to go into the nail polish, and I guess you're only supposed to have one, but I have two. Um, so I guess this one of them can take the place of my miscellaneous item. Um, and both of these, I don't know if everybody would consider these high-end, but to me they're high-end because I usually buy like the $3 nail polishes at CVS. So the first one is the Nicole by OPI Selena Gomez nail polish, and this is just in the original Selena color. And this is so gorgeous. So this is like a... How do I describe this? This is like a really pretty peach nude kind of color. But then whenever you put it on and in the light, it has really, really tiny, small, almost rainbowy kind of reflex, and it looks so amazing on the nails. Uh, I find that I am great in great shape with two coats of this, and I love using my Sesh Feet top coat over it because I feel like it makes it look even glossier. And then my other one is by Orly. This is 
amazing. It looks almost matte whenever you put it on your nails, which is crazy. Like, if I don't put a top coat over this, it almost looks like it's just a matte nail polish. It's so weird, but this is in the shade of Va Va Voom, and this is just a gorgeous, amazing, like, fluorescent hot pink, and it's really not showing up that way on camera, and I'm not sure why, um, but it's, like, fluorescent hot pink in, like real life if you know what I'm saying. The formula is great. I usually apply two to three coats of this because it's a little thinner but it's not like runny or like streaky but it's definitely a thinner formula but I love it and it's definitely worth whatever this is like eight nine dollars whatever I think both of these are around eight or nine dollars but I love them both so so much. So that is all for the princess tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to do something a little more focused on high-end products because I feel like I talk about a lot of drugstore products and I don't really get to talk about some more high-end products like I like to. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up down below. I will be uploading more frequently now. I'm just now starting to get more into the routine and pattern and swing of school. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to start pre-recording videos, whereas usually I would just record videos like on the day that I wanted to upload them. So again, hope you enjoyed. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you did, and I will talk to you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!